the goodwill ambassador from our neighbor, the Bean Bean Kingdom, just paid a visit. The ambassador stole Princess Peach's voice. Huh? And replaced it with these explosive vocabulary. Gah! If I kidnap Princess Peach in this state, she'll wreck my castle. Mario, do something super. Mario, please go and retrieve Princess Peach's beautiful voice. Only you can do it. We'll take my Koopa Cruiser and reach the Bean Bean Kingdom in no time. Mario, we leave immediately. Uh-oh. Nope, so we still got a little bit more. Hey, according to the book, Bean Bean Vacations, you can save your travels by hitting that album there. Yeah, I, all right, so let's hit this album. We'll save, and I actually think this might be a good place to just stop. We're in the Koopa Cruiser hold number two, which is different from number one. All right, let's roll. We, we, we still got to make it to the, 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 I guess, the Bowser. Up to Bowser's Bowser's room. This is the save album. It did often save your travels. Okay. What is this? Oh, I think this is going to teach us the coolest thing about this game. Hitting that block here activates the pinch crane. I like to call it Mr. Pinch. Don't ask me why. In case it's not really obvious, you should be able to use... Oh, Mr. Pinch to move that cargo. Oh, maybe this isn't what I was thinking it is. They're about to move some cargo, boys. Uh-oh. That ain't cargo. That ain't cargo. Uh-oh. Looks like the crane mistook you for cargo. That looks uncomfortable. Hey, since you're up there, why don't we use you as a lookout? Uh. Here we are, We will soon pass over the border between the Mushroom and Bean Bean Kingdoms. Hmm, nice work. You can go back below decks now. No, uh -oh. Luigi sees something. Eh? What's with all the hoopla? Uh oh, we being attacked? Ah, what now? Oh, we being attacked. Who would have thought you'd catch up to the great Cacoletta in even a hundred million years? You! You're the fiend who stole Peach's voice! How dare you pull off such a cool evil plan! <laughs> oh, I dare! And now I'm going straight back to the Bean Bean Kingdom so my next plan can take root. I have no time to chat with you or with the likes of you. Awful. Take care of this. Ah, hold it. <laughs> I am the Greek Hackletta's most best pupil who is named Fawful. I am here laughing at you. If you are giving us the chase just to get your silly princess's voice, then you are idiots of foolishness. Princess Peach's sweet voice will soon be the bread that makes the sandwich of Cacletta's desires. And this battle shall be the delicious mustard on that bread. The mustard of your doom. Oh, oh, we about to fight? Oh, he, he snuck up behind us. How clever. Next, it is the turn of you. All right, let's take him down. Mario with the, with the jump attack. Yeah, yo. Luigi with the jump attack. Fink rat. Okay, so uh, this guy here, Fawful, his clue in how to dodge his attacks is the color of the text that he says before he um for your text. He said Fink rat in green, so that means he was gonna attack Luigi. 
Come on, boys. There we go. Ow. <laughs> he's out of here. Oh, he's giving a, he's giving a hit. How about I say Bowser just leave her? Hey, want to dodge this nuts attacks? Sure. Before he attacks, watch what he says really carefully. Such mumbling. Stop it. Think rat. So it's red this time? No. When the, when the stuff this nut says is red. He's attacking you, Mario. All enemies have a hint in their attacks. So keep your eyes on them. Think rat. All right. Appreciate the hint, Bowser. Bowser, you've been so helpful so far in this adventure. Have you readiness for this? Oh, shoot. Wasn't expecting to. I just realized I was, I was supposed to switch my controller around. Have you readiness for this? All right. We could also see, in case you miss, like, the color, you can also see uh, the shadow of those balls. Just got to be able to follow it. This is, like, one of the very few games that has have depth in them that I can determine because most stuff's at an angle. Oof. Oh, helmet down. Here we go. Take that boy out. Now it's when I ram you. Got him. Got him. Got him. <laughs> yeah. Oof. <laughs> How could Fink Rats like you beat such an awful nasty as me. Headgear. Oh, his headgear is back. How wonderful. I have Fury. Oh, Fury's no good. Bye. Now is when the talking stops. I do not have time to stop and spell foul roses such as you. One fell swoop is the way I will deal with you, Fink Rats. Oh, boy. This ain't good. This ain't good. He's attacking the ship. He's gonna bring down the ship. Oh yeah, we going down, fam. We going crash. Oh, we just gonna explode. General Starshade, a massive explosion has been sighted. Confirmation. I need confirmation. General Starshade, meteorites confirmed. That ain't good. Impact in Stardust Fields. Initiate recon. Emergency. Emergency. Hey. It's lit. It's lit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so we're in, we're in a new area. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the time to explain some of the some of the more important things of the game that I haven't used just yet. Let's look at is this the right thing? Yes. Okay. So if we look in our suitcase, uh, we have items. We can use items. Uh, oops, that's the B button. I need to switch that. Okay. So in typical JRPGs, you have a stat called HP or your health. Uh, if you need to fill that up, you need to save or you need to go to an inn to go to sleep. In this game, I think the only thing we can do is eat mushrooms, which will recover a lot of health. It's the only item right now. Uh, we have a key. These are for our key items. And we have this thing. We'll get to that one later. Uh, this is equipment. Uh, we can change our clothes. Our clothes give us different stats. And they also give us... um. I don't want to call them abilities. Let's call them skills. They give us different skills uh, based on what they are. It's pretty cool. Uh, same. It goes for Mario and Luigi. Uh, and then our bros information. This is basically we want to look at our stats. So uh, this is our HP, BP, power, defense, speed, stash. Uh, and our current experience as well as how much experience we need to get to the next level. Oh, again. This is Mario. This is Luigi. 
Mm, 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 mm. I believe that's. Did I look at? Oh, this is just switching. Okay, it's fine. Okay, so this thing is too high for me to jump up. Also, note if I jump Mario up somewhere, I can't continue on without Luigi. I need Luigi right with me. See, can't go forward anymore. So I bring Luigi with me. All right, let's explore. Oh, let's save. Let's save. This game also always gives us amazing points at which to save. And I think between this save and next, I'm going to switch uh, my button configuration. All right, I haven't switched around. Now watch every single time I'm going to mess it up. <laughs> oh, there's a Koopa here. That's not good. The, the Koopa Cruiser, we haven't finished paying it off. I know that feeling, bro. I know that feeling. Fine, Lord Bowser. Oh, you gotta help us. But Bowser fell uh, on the other side of the border. Oh, this must be the other side of the border. Oh, yeah, we're still in the Mushroom Kingdom, aren't we? We haven't crossed the border yet. Well, well, talk about a nice surprise. Check it out, bro. It looks like the famous Mario Bros have arrived. Man, this really brings back the memories, doesn't it? Good times. Good times. So what's up, Brothers M? Are you two heading off on a journey together? Oh. So you probably want us to let you pass, huh? Yeah, well, I'm sure you guys know this is the border of the Mushroom Kingdom. That's right, it's the border. And since we're the border security, we can't just let you in. Until you do some jumping worthy of the Mario name. Want to do the border jump? Uh, I know what the border jump is, but we're going to explain it. <laughs> the rules are simple. Just jump to avoid touching the royal borderline. And keep on jumping until that flag in the background reaches the top of the flagpole. Uh, after this text, you'll be able to see the background has a setup that looks like the very first Super Mario Brothers game. That's the flag that he's talking about. But listen, if either of you makes three mistakes, then the game's over. The end. Well said, little border bro. Anyway, we'll be nice and let you practice first. Sound good? Okay, Mario, you go first. Press the A button to jump. Okay. Next is your turn, Luigi. Press the B button to jump. Okay. Mar okay, Mario. Try and jump the rope. Uh, I mean, try to jump the royal boulder line. All right. Man, that was incredible. Now it's your turn, Luigi. Let's see you jump. Man, that was incredible. All right, Mario and you two, Luigi, try it together. Man, that was incredible. Well, that's all the practice you get. All right. So it's all about timing. It's all about response and timing, which means I'm going to fail miserably. I'm either going to kill it or fail miserably. Let's do the border jump. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Level one. Oh, if either of them hits three times. So one of them can hit twice and the other can hit twice. But the second one of them messes up from there, it's over. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, got me. Joke's on me, huh? Come on, Luigi. Tighten up. Oh, Jesus. Joke's on me. Yeah, I knew that one was coming. I was actually ready for that one. Man, very cool. That was some incredible jumping. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the flag that's right in front of the the bat painting in the background. My mistake. Clear. What we get? A 55 in our in our tens and ones. Just beyond here is the Bean Bean Kingdom. You be extra careful when traveling there. All right, so we made it to the other side. Okay, I switched the controls around, so I'm gonna mess it up. Hold up, bros. 
Since we've been on duty, you two are the first people ever to cross our border. I mean, ever. We've got to commemorate this occasion by giving you this. We got a Bean Bean map. As long as you have a map, you'll feel safer in foreign lands, right? Press select to view the menu screen and check out that map. So the map is down here below bro's information. Let's look at the map. So right now we're in the Stardust Fields. And I assume... Is this... I, I, I guess this is uh, the Bean Bean Kingdom map, right? Well, I guess, yeah. So this, I was saying, I was looking at the middle. I was like, would that be uh, Princess Peach's castle? I don't think so. I don't think so. Mario games are very typically good at uh, making stuff match. And that does not, pull that, pull that bad boy right back up. That does not look like the Princess Peach castle that we know and love. Or the Mushroom Kingdom castle that we know and love. Huh. So this pipe, I'm going to assume, is going to let us warp uh, very easily between locations. Oh boy. Be uh Bean Bean Bulletin. Disturbing facts uncovered in area sixty-four. Ah, sixty-four. Recent studies show that the spiky stardust defense system SSSD S S S S S S S D S can be jumped. It's easy. Just run and press the A button, then immediately press the B button. Such a defense gap is appalling. Improvements are demanded to prevent an increase in intruders. I think it's super cool that they said that we're the very first to cross the border because A, that means that uh, people in the Mushroom Kingdom can't jump or don't jump often, but also that, um, hmm. also that, what was I gonna say? Oh, we're the first people that they've ever seen in the Bing Bing Kingdom from the Mushroom Kingdom. I think that's super interesting. Means we don't have to worry about big, uh, big familiar eyes. They shouldn't know who we are at all. Oh boy, it's an enemy. It's our first enemy in the Bean Bean Kingdom. Let's go to work. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. There we go. Okay, see, well, well, I was saying about Let's Go and Okie Dokie. What Mario and Luigi say before battle begins. Oh, I didn't get the, I didn't get a, an attack on him. Uh oh. Whoops. Looks like I, oh Jesus, I'm bad. Looks like I might have been wrong about who attacks first when it comes to speed. Uh, it is, it is everyone all at once. So it appears Luigi is not fast enough to go before the enemies. Let's make that what we focus on. When we're not, oops, when we're not focusing on, uh, when we're not focusing on, on the stash. Alright. Uh, okie dokie, let's go. That, that's a very good clue on how battles are gonna go. Uh, if they don't say okie dokie, let's go, that means you messed up and you're probably gonna take damage or, uh, they're gonna not be able to attack before. Oh, no. There we go. So I missed the jump and Luigi got hit. So Luigi said, oh no, he's not gonna be able to attack until, I'm sorry, he's not gonna be able to dodge till his turn to attack. That wasn't intentional, by the way. I was not trying to mess him up. See, I can't tell him to dodge. Ah, Jesus, I'm bad at this. <laughs> I was doing so good during the tutorial episode. Dunzo. Okay, so one of the things I said, uh, I don't play a lot of JRPGs on the channel. Uh, mostly because I don't like things like random encounters, but this game kind of circumvents random encounters. Uh, I don't have to battle anybody. It's going to be really hard when I get to the end, but I don't have to battle anybody, and I can choose not to by not running to them in the overworld. For the most part, you know, boss battles and stuff, they'll still happen. Uh, but I've never really been a fan of um, random encounters. Uh, I don't consider Pokemon a JRPG because it doesn't follow stuff like stats and all that. It, it, it's very, it's very one person on the team fighting another person on the team, not the team fighting the team at once. Uh oh. 
Oh, he's gonna be mad at us. Hey, Mario! Great timing. I could use a hand here. I'm kind of stuck. Look, keep your diet jokes to yourself. They're not funny. Just get me out of here. Nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. Why could it be that Bowser, the great Koopa King, has fallen into my cannon? Nyeh. How I'm yielding. Who, who dares speak to me so? Nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. I am Tollstar, the great and feet king of the Stardust Fields. I've heard tales of you, but you aren't very impressive in person. Nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. Nyeh, nyeh. If you want me to get him out of there, little people, you must pay in coins. I will set him free for all of your coins. And I'll even keep this most embarrassing incident a secret. What? That's not fair. Pardon me. I'm not sure I heard you correctly just now. You'll give me all 119 of your coins? Oh, I guess we're going to give him the coins. I guess I don't have to say any matter. I guess I didn't wasn't saving up for college. Nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. Why? These are mushroom coins, aren't they? This is the Bean Bean Kingdom. I suppose I'll have to calculate their value in local currency. Let's see. At today's exchange rate, 119 mushroom coins are worth 10 Bean Bean coins. Well, sorry, but for only 10 coins, I can't guarantee this secret one will slip out. Nyeh, nyeh. Yes. That means I'll need an additional 100 Bean Bean coins. Go find them in Stardust Fields and bring them back to me. Then I'll help your Koopa King. Well, I guess we gotta go get money. I guess I wasn't really saving up for college, huh? Look around Stardust Field and find me 100 coins. If you can, oh, you can find them in blocks or win them in battles. Check your menu to see how many you have. All right, so this is an actual thing. Oops, I ain't mean to come back here. Uh, let's see. So before we continue, we need to get 100 coins. Uh, what, was I, what I was saying about JRPGs. Um, hmm. What was I saying about JRPGs? Uh, I'm also, I don't want to say I'm bad at them, but I, I don't focus on stats like I should in JRPGs. Uh, I, don't, I don't really like grinding. I don't really like grinding a lot. It's not super fun to me. And that's typically what makes a JRPG different from more traditional or Americanized RPGs. Doesn't mean it's bad. It's just me. I don't like it. I don't have to like everything. Everything ain't for me. All right, green. Good work. Dunzo. Dunzo. So we really got to get 100 coins. And we just got four from this thing. We got to take out 25 of those little things. Or we got to find a bunch in these blocks. Oh, this is going to be quite the adventure. <laughs> 